everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video um, I am going to be doing a products I regret buying um, now I will say I do not have a lot of products and I consider that a really good thing just because of the fact I really try to be smart about my purchases I do anti hauls for a reason um, you know I like to kind of go through things saying you know do I need this is it calling out to me um, and I just really try and be smart because I'm not rich I don't have money to blow on products that aren't gonna work so I do try and really think about my purchases however there are times when you know we all fall into the hype and we think that that products going to be pretty darn good so we go ahead and make those purchases and they don't always end up being what we want them to be so this is my little mini version like I said I don't have a lot of products here um, and I actually I'm pretty proud about that so we're gonna jump right into it and one of the first items I have <laughs> is the Too Faced Clover palette okay I fell into the hype for this one I think the packaging is so freaking cute I really really do but I never reach for this I never reach for this you can see that they're hardly used I've used it maybe a handful of times and I don't know I don't sit here and think oh my gosh I wonder if I should grab this palette for whatever colors are in here I just I don't know the more I look at it the more I was just like what the heck was I thinking like what was I thinking I I have no clue um, so definitely regret buying this this was not worth full price maybe if I would have got this at a discount I would feel a little bit better about it but yeah I regret this one I think probably most of all <laughs> but it is what it is and um, yeah so next I have a um, a foundation brush for you guys this is from the it brushes for Ulta they're supposed to actually have a really good line these are supposed to be actually really luxurious brushes they are not cheap by any means okay um, and this is the airbrush blurring foundation brush number 101 and I really really despise this brush um, for foundation it just does not do it for me this does not hold up to the shape it is not as dense as I would like it to be and as I'm applying foundation with this brush you just see the lines that you're creating all over your face and it is just absolutely horrendous um, so it just and the brush doesn't even hold the shape either can you see that it just yeah I don't know this is just a fail this is a waste of money you know the lady in the Alta and you know they all do this when you go in there oh yeah this brush is amazing da, 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 da. well next time I won't be listening to anybody but myself so I would not recommend this brush this is a regret for a foundation brush I do have foundation brushes that I love um, so I will have to figure out what else to do with this Another makeup brush that I regret buying is the Morphe M105 brush. This is a blush brush. And I don't know. I, I kind of like the way that it applies my blush. But the only problem with this brush, oh my gosh, it just sheds so freaking bad. I'm like can sit here and, you know, kind of brush off all the bristles off my face they fall on my chest they fall over my face and it's just a it's just irritating it is so freaking irritating because I do like the way that it applies the blush but it, for such a hassle I don't want to have to sit there and pick the bristles off my face so that would be a no-go all right so I don't even know why I bought this to begin with um, this is from CoverGirl. It is the Super Sizer Fibers Mascara. Um, the wand is not something I'm a fan of. I don't know if I bought it just for my lower lash line, but that's the only thing I can use it for. This is not for top lashes. <laughs> and I kind of like my mascaras to be versatile. I like to be able to use them on the top and the bottom. Um, but this is not for my top lashes. This is only for my lower lashes. So I kind of wish that I wouldn't have even purchased this. 
Um, it's kind of goopy, so I don't know. Not in love with that. All right, next we have the Tarte Lid Lock Eye Base. This is in the color Buff. They only came out with one of these. I thought this would kind of be like the Ogre Paint Pot, um, but this <sighs> creases my eyeshadow so freaking bad. On top of that, it is really, really stiff. Um, when you touch it and you try and spread it on your eye, it just kind of drags um, across. You really have to warm it up with your finger in order to get it to kind of spread around. Um, but I just, I don't know. It makes my eyelid look like I have fish scales. So I haven't even been digging in this to try and get rid of it. It's just not something I enjoy like at all at all um and i think this was like 20 bucks 22 bucks but um yeah i don't know i was really really hoping that this would work because i do love tarte so much but um this was just a fail for me all right another tarte product that i have it's the tarte rainforest of the sea aqua concealer um, at first, I kind of really liked the consistency of this. It was really easy to blend. Um, it smells like, kind of like paint. So that threw me off. Um, but when I apply it to my under eyes, it kind of has like this, makes me, it makes me look like I have dark circles. And my dark circles are not that bad. I might have lines but I really don't have dark circles and it makes me look like I have them and I don't understand what I'm doing wrong with this concealer. I do apply uh, my Laura Mercier translucent powder with it and that doesn't help. So I don't know. I have, it's still really, really full. I might try and put this in a project pan just to get rid of it, but I, it should be coming up on the expiration date very soon just because this is only good for six months. Um, I did purchase this last year, more towards the fall, um, so I might want to get on the ball with trying to see what I can do about that. Okay, so up next, <laughs> I do this, oh, okay, so I'm just basically going to say any orange lipstick. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself, you know, these colors are so gorgeous and I actually I do like them but I never create an eye look that I feel comfortable wearing with a orange lip and I just I don't know I don't know so um this is the ColourPop and the Kathleen Lights collection this one was Rev and this is the Too Faced Melted Matte this is from the Candy collection uh, and this was her sweet and sour. And like I said, I think these are absolutely gorgeous, but I have yet to create a eye look to wear these with. All right, next up, and I know some of you guys are gonna be like, what? All right, it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. Um, I have the Soft Glam Palette. I love that palette so much. Um, I have the... Um, Modern Renaissance, I love that palette so much. I use those all the time. But this one just, God, I don't know. You know, I just, I look at it. The more I look at it, the more I'm underwhelmed. Um, I really need to dig into this palette to see if I can make this work um, for me. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to pass this on but this is another one that I I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I know I wanted to review it for you guys, but I try not to typically buy stuff just to review. I really want to just buy stuff that I'm interested in and want to review. So that's kind of the route that I like to take. Um, but I just don't know. It's just uh, something about it. See, I mean, that's it's pretty, right? I just... I don't know why I can't bring myself to use this dang palette. Oh, what? Uh, ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Why? What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Why don't I reach for this more? 
Look at those. Those are so gorgeous. Why don't I reach for this? I just don't understand. Hmm, that one's patchy. Very, very patchy. I don't know. I don't know. I just... Mm. That one makes me mad because like I look at it now and the colors are gorgeous, but I open this up and I'm just like, eh, I'll use it another time. I'll use it another time. No problem. I'll just, I'll use it another time. And that's not what I want for my collection. I want to be, oh yes, I want to use that. Oh yes, I want to use that. And I have so many palettes that draw me in or I'm like, yes, I'm using that today. And this just isn't one of them. The colors are gorgeous, but every time I open it up, I'm like, I don't have time to sit here and think about how I'm gonna make these colors work for me. <laughs> so maybe that has a lot to do with why um, I don't use it like I should, but I don't know. This is definitely in my regret buying because of that. All right, so I have one more item for you guys. Um, <clears throat> it is another eyeshadow palette. Now, I do have a lot of Morphe eyeshadow palettes. Um, my very first one was the 35F. I love that palette. I will bring that palette out anytime. Um, I had purchased the 35OM because, um, I kind of wanted a palette that had all mattes of all different kind of brown shades. That way I could get maybe an all shimmer palette and kind of use them together. Um, so that was my reasoning for that. And then I also have the 35O, I have the Jaclyn Hill palette, I have the 25A and B, but those are not the ones that I regret buying because each one of those palettes to me, um, is unique and different and, um, something that I am definitely going to reach for. Um, but this one is the 35O two palette and man I've used this one time I have literally used this like one time and I regret this one so much this one has basically everything else I already have in every single Morphe palette the only difference the only difference are Let's see is this these couple shades right here that's it and I guess that's called like what the eye pop effect so those definitely drew me in which is those orange colors that I want to be able to use but have yet figured out a way for myself to use them but everything else is stuff I have and that really irritates me that I did that so Oh, and you have to really be careful with Morphe palettes because they are known to kind of, you know, reuse shades or have shades that are extremely similar in their palettes. So, um, like I said, this one, these shades right here are different than any of the other palettes that I do have, but that's basically what I bought. I bought these four shades. Everything else is something I have. So this was not a smart purchase in my book. So I definitely have to be a little bit more uh, smart about my Morphe palette purchases. I gotta make sure that it's not just a palette that I'm only interested in four shades and everything else is part of the collection that I have. So with that being said, Thank you guys for watching my video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. You can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I'm going to have those linked down below as well. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.